All right, we're going to talk about end behavior models here. So, start with the definition of an end behavior model. An end behavior model is a function that models some other function, typically a more complicated function, um, at the ends of the graph. So, as x approaches negative infinity and as x approaches positive infinity, an end behavior model will look basically identical as x gets very large in the positive or negative direction. All right, definition of a true end behavior model. Um, not just one that we think is an end behavior model, but here's the definition that we can check our, um, our hypothetical model against. And that'll make more sense in a second. Um, given y equals f of x, your original function, y equals g of x, what you think is the model, maybe we should write that down. That's your end behavior model. It will be an end behavior model if the limit as x approaches infinity of the ratio of the functions is equal to 1. Okay? So if the ratio of the functions ends up being, and it has to be positive 1, then we know that we have an end behavior model. And you might think for a second, pause the video and think about why that might be true, um, but I'll leave that for a discussion in class. Um, but it, it's a good thought experiment as to why the, that, um, that ratio needs to result in being 1 to be an end behavior model. Okay, so let's look at an example. This is an example that you probably did something similar to, or maybe you did this exact type of problem in pre-calculus, but um, I don't know that you defined it in terms of limits or that you ever had to verify using the definition that I just gave you. So um, let's look at this example here. So let's start with the function f of x is equal to 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus, oh, sorry, um, minus 5x Right? This is a polynomial function, and what you might remember from pre-calculus function analysis is that this polynomial function, as x gets large in the negative or the positive direction, is going to be basically 3x to the fourth. It's going to be basically the highest power of x with the same leading coefficient. All right? That's going to be what your end behavior model is. And so in pre-calc, we kind of stopped there. We just said, look at the graph, see how they're similar. All right. And the reason for that is that you know, if you take a million to the third power, that's nothing compared to a million to the fourth power, because it's that times a million. Right? And that's going to keep going as you get, as x gets larger and larger. You will basically have 3x to the fourth dominating the whole function. So we'd say, well, my pre-calculus knowledge, what I remembered or forgot and now I remember, um, would tell me that the end behavior model, g of x, should be 3x to the fourth. Which is fine. That's fantastic. Is it, based on the definition? Can we prove or verify that this is, in fact, an end behavior model? Let's try it. The definition says, hopefully you have in your notes, the definition said if we take the ratio and the limit as x approaches infinity of the ratio, we should get 1. Let's check. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 5x plus 6 divided by 3x to the fourth. At this point, it's maybe not obvious that this ratio, when we evaluate the limit, will equal 1. So let's do some algebraic manipulation to it and see if we can't make it clear. Okay? And in general, in mathematics, if you stick around in mathematics long enough and you start doing proofs, you'll find that you want each step or each part of the proof to follow logically from the previous one. The, you want the reader to be able to clearly see what you did algebraically um, to get from one thing to the next. So what we'll do first is we're going to break this one fraction into several fractions. So we'll take 3x to the fourth divided by 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed over 3x to the fourth. And we'll write that out. Okay? So we have 3x to the fourth over 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed over 3x to the 4th minus 5x over 3x to the 4th plus 6 over 3x to the 4th. All right, and now we simplify. This is going to be just 1, right? So I'm going to work down now. Sorry, this is a fantastic board management here. So this will be 1 minus, this will end up being 2 over 3x. This will be 5 over 
3x to the third, and this will end up just being, um, I guess we'll get a 2 on top. That's not going to matter. Um, a 2 over um, x to the fourth. Okay? And we think about what happens now if we evaluate this at infinity. If we think about what's the function doing when x gets really large. Well, this is just going to go to 1 minus 2 over 3x. If I put in large numbers here, I'm going to get 2 divided by huge numbers. That's going to go to 0. So I've got 0. This will do the same thing. 0 and 0. So what I end up with is 1 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0. Just 1. So I end up with, oh, better keep the colors the same. Limit, oh, sorry, I end up with because I'm evaluating the limit now. So 1 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0, that's just 1. And therefore, that g of x must be an end behavior model because the limit as x approaches infinity of the ratio of f over g ends up being 1. Okay? Now, it's possible that your end behavior model, uh, it's, it's possible that... Um, you only want to model one side of a function, the end of one side, because you might not have a polynomial function, um, a simple polynomial function. Maybe you have something more complicated than that. Um, and you want to model either one side or the other side. Um, I should actually say, uh, before we do right and left, we, we should do this other example here. One. Let's look at this um, because we didn't explicitly talk about it. If I have this function, f of x equals, um, and this will be a rational function instead of a polynomial function. So it's a whole different family of functions here. But you'll see that the same principles apply. Maybe my function is 2x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus x squared plus 1. All of that divided by. Um, 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. All right, And I want to figure out what the end behavior model is um, for this function. Well, it's going to look like this. And we could prove this with the definition, although we're not going to. But it's going to be the highest power term in the top polynomial divided by the highest power term in the bottom polynomial. All right, So what you'll get here is, um, well, I'll just write it down. Let me get this. All right. G of x is equal to 2x to the fifth over 3x squared. That simplifies to 2x to the third power divided by 3. And that ends up being your end behavior model. We could verify that in the same way. You probably just want to take my word for it because it's not a whole lot of fun to take f of x over g of x and prove that it does simplify to 1 at infinity, but it will. Okay? All right, now we can talk about right and left end behavior models. I just wanted to make sure we got that family of functions, the rational family there um, video. Okay.